Hi guys, this is Alice from StrayCode.net. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get um, stock price updates constantly using um, Beautiful Soup, um, While Loop, and just a very simple algorithm. Okay, so the first thing we wanted to do is to import BS4, import request, and from BS4 we want to import Beautiful Soup. So I already have it typed out here, I'm just going to run that. Okay, and then the next thing we wanted to do is to, um, like I showed you in the last video, to get the URL, uh, set R equal to requests.get and remember you string of the the page the url of the page you want to scrape in our case this is the url okay so um next thing we want to do is to set soup equal to bs4 dot beautiful soup and we're gonna do or dot text, and I'm going to do XML, and there. Okay, so you can check your element. Now this is your soup. Okay, you can also some people call it us. And since this worked out fine, I'm going to put it on our actual script here. Okay. Okay, so the next thing you wanted to do is to go to this page, and this is the price we wanted to get. So we would right click this element and click inspect. Then from there we can see uh, all of these should work. Uh, not this one, probably this one, this one, this one should work. They all work. I'm going to try this one for now. Okay, so I'm going to do soup.find all at first. Where dot find is actually going to work. You can say div. But if you do this, you will get many, many diff elements on this page. So I'm just going to show you. See, there's a lot of diff element, and you do not know which one is the one you want. Okay, so instead, I'm going to do, I'm going to be more specific. I'm going to say comma and... I'm going to say the class in all the div element. I'm looking for the one with class equal to this my6px-pros. And I just copy and paste that. Okay, so this is exactly what we wanted, right? Here is the full... Uh, text from here, not just text and uh, HTML. Okay, so let's see if we can narrow down a little bit. You see the price is always in the span element, so you can do here dot find um, span. Okay, well since we did dot find all earlier this is actually a list of many elements. So you can either do dot find or you can do dot find all. And let's just say you find two elements have the same class name. You can say, okay, the first element. And I won't do that. So it gives you the same results here. You can choose. But in the case of there are multiple elements that you ended up finding, you can use the list method to go to the specific one you wanted. Anyways, let's just go for this. Okay, so if you look closely, um, 
here's your price, here's the price you wanted. And uh, also, if you pay attention, this had already changed. It's uh, 166.331, and this is 166.23. So we're getting an older price, but that's okay. I'll show you how to get an update later. So since you only want the price, we can just do dot text, and it will give us the price here. Okay, so now we are done with the page here. I'm gonna create a loop that use what we found to get the most current price. To do that, um, I would say um, I could set this up as a function and I can say this is div um, parse price. And I would say to get price equals to this. So if you can not see, what I did is I would use request to get that page. I would define soup like we did earlier in the console, and I would call price as this, right? And in the very end, you know, you can add a print statement or whatever. But okay, let's just do return price. Okay. Yes. Okay. And now we're going to start doing our loop. Um, for a while true, you can say, um, print uh, the current price is string of parse price. So when I do this, I call for the function and whatever it is returned will be turned into a string and come out in the print statement. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to run just this line without a while loop. Oh, I did not um, save this. Okay, so... See, it would just print that every single time I run it. So you can see I'm getting the most current price now. Every single time the price would change. Now. We don't want it to be doing it. Um, well, we could do it as fast as possible. So, um, if you want, run the script. So, a little explanation here. Um, while true means just always. Um, I'm going to print this statement here, this string. This string is consists of the first part, which is just a string, says the current price. And the second part is a string here. Uh, it's the string of whatever parse price returns to me. So right here, I'm calling the function parse price. And when I do that, I go into the function I have created. I set request, I set soup, and I define what price is. And, and finally, I return the price. So this price in terms are returned into this string. And this string combined with the first part of the string uh, will be what prints out in the end. So again, the while loop is evoking this function every time, constantly, so you're always getting an update. So as you can see, um, the same way we do get the prices for this particular stock, you can also use it to follow 
many other stocks. So you can get multiple prices, and from there you can do analysis. You can have the script notify you when there's a 10% increase, for example, or decrease, or you can be doing a lot of manipulation with it. So this is kind of a basic starting point from how to get the data for the stock price. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in the future.